Hey guys, this is Corey from ShootingTime.com. Uh, this part of the broadhead test is going to be the bloodletting test. And what we did is we simulated the entry wound and the exit wound of a broadhead. This one is the QED Exodus. And what we're going to do is attach that to the bottom of the cylinder with a hose clamp and fill it with water. And then we're going to take the stopper off and we're going to measure the amount of time it takes for the water to drain from this mark to this mark and that will give each broadhead its in individual score so let's get to it this is the Exodus broadhead by QAD go ahead Take it out. tooth of the arrow holy shit that dropped it's great I right, asked the two blade rage pull out quick Well, that one was a lot slower. Yep. And that was the kudu point. Okay, this is the Schwacker. Quick out. VPA two blade. Quick. Fire knock two blade. Quick. Hades Pro 3 blade. Go ahead, quick. Grim Reaper Mechanical Pro 3 blade. Quick. So VPA 3 blade. Quick. Thorn Archery. Go ahead, quick. Here are the results for bloodletting test. Uh, as you can imagine, the three blade and four blade broadheads did considerably better than the two blades. Uh, you will notice that the two blade rage is listed as number one on the results, um, but keep in mind that with the cut on contact tip, it actually performs as a four blade. So hope you found this interesting and keep in mind that this is only one factor that we're using to determine which broadhead is the best of our challenge. Thanks.